I believe success is about continuous, gradual change. Um, a lot, a lot of time, people think of um, quick wins um, to success. And if you look at anyone who has been successful throughout the world, it, it's a process. Most of the times, all of the times, of all the successful people that I've interviewed and I've spoken to, they will tell you that it takes time, it takes continuous action, and it takes gradual step-by-step -step process. And being successful is also about um, finding that thing that you're good at and keep doing that thing that you're good at. No matter what anyone says, no matter what anyone might think about it, that is what you are good at and just keep, just keep pushing at that. I, I believe that all of us have been, God has planted a seed in all of our hearts. Um, the seed that he's planted in my heart is different from the seed that he has planted in your heart. And no matter if someone else is, if you share that, that thought or that dream with someone else and they go off and they try to do it, they will never be able to do it the way you can do it because that's just not their seed. It's just not that thing that God has given them to do. So they won't have the passion, they won't have the drive um, to do it. We are all born different. You know, we're all born unique. And it's that uniqueness that makes us be who we are. It's that uniqueness that we need to, we need to tap into to find that force, that inner force to propel us towards our, our destiny, to propel us towards our inclination, which is really our purpose. Um, I remember when I was a kid, and if, you, if, you, if all of you think back when you were children, you had these huge dreams. There were no limits. There were no, nothing you couldn't do. You know, I, I thought I could become Superman and fly off to the moon and you know, save the world from, from bad people. I, you know, I also thought I was the best dancer in the world and experiment with that. And I was good at it for, for, for a period of time. But as we become much older, our environment starts to influence the way how we think. Our peers tend to start influence the way how we think. Our parents start to influence the way how we think. And we, we, tend to be, we tend to take on these influences and that inner force that's within us becomes trapped because we no longer start thinking uh, creative. We no longer think, start thinking much bigger than we are, we, we limit ourselves based on the surroundings that we are in and the society that we've, we've, we've grown up into. And I think it's only when we rekindle that force, when we relight that inner fire that allows us to start thinking much bigger than, than we are, that is when we will, we will begin the journey of being successful. We've all heard of the saying, you know, um, anything the mind can conceive, we can achieve. And I think that is so, so correct, because if you think about it, I, I believe that your thoughts are the most powerful forces um, on, on, the, on the face of this earth. I, I remember growing up, and um, I tell the story all the time, I remember growing up and I, I, I used to love um, sci-fi movies, and I used to love watching Star Trek. And I remember in Star Trek, they had this thing, and they were just, you know, shifting on it and moving it and all of that. And I, always, I was just always fascinated about that. And we're not far from that. As a matter of fact, that thing I told you about that they used to shift around is now the iPad. You know, when the Wright brothers thought about um, building the aircraft, people laughed at them because they thought it was stupid. But it was, their, it was a thought that they had. And that thought, they, they worked at it and they continuously made changes and continuously progressed until today, the, their methodology is what we're using to fly to the moon and, and to be able to fly from one country to, to, to the other. <clears throat> so I think that for you to gain success, you have to be able to first rekindle that inner force, that inner force that makes you believe that there is nothing that is impossible. You know, I have a saying that impossible is two words too long. You know, anything is possible as long as you think it believe it and take decisive action to make it happen and that is what I, I, I teach that is what I, I encourage people to do that's what I mentor and coach people to become to develop that mindset change so that they can achieve anything that they want to achieve for me I, in anything I do in, in life I, I, I have one thing I, I always say that no matter what I do I must no matter how big how small 
no matter who I'm speaking to, no matter um, who I come in contact with, I always try to do one thing, and that is always to create amazing. When you create amazing, you leave memorable experiences. When you create amazing, the impact and the footprint that you leave on this world cannot be easily erased. It's, it's, it's a legacy. When you create amazing, you move boundaries and you push beyond the epitome of anything so that you can ensure that um, anything you, you do is of immense quality. It's of luxury. It's of significance. And that is what we are here to do on this earth, to, to create amazing. And creating amazing is not something that is static. You know, it's, it's something that is fluid because being able to create amazing comes from our thoughts. It comes from our mindset. And it's when you, when you have that new mindset, that new way of thinking, then you can, you can create amazing. Uh, you know, science have proven that the human brain is not something that is um, rigid. Um, and, and the reason for that is because our thoughts shape our mindsets. Our thoughts shape our physical being. Our thoughts shape um, everything about us. And, you know, you hear stories all the time of people who, are, who have cancer, who have been extremely ill, and doctors have given up on them, and all of a sudden, a miracle has happened. Yes, it's a miracle, but it's also a miracle because they now start thinking that they can heal themselves. And because of that thought, their body reacts to that energy that they are now flowing throughout, the, throughout their bodies. So in order for us to be successful in whatever we do, whether or not it's in our profession, in our business, in our relationships, just in society in general, we have to develop that mindset that one, there is nothing that we can't do. Two, that whatever we're going to be doing, we're going to ensure that it uplifts, it serves, and we leave a legacy. That is the whole notion of creating amazing. I left corporate um, three years ago because I felt that there was just, I've, I've seen too many people with great dreams and great ideas who have just left it by the wayside. And I thought that corporate was the place for me to live my dream and to realize my dream. But then I realized that, you know, and it, it, it took me 20 years to realize this, it, you know, to realize that that seed that was planted in my heart could not be achieved in the corporate world alone. It meant that I had to step out, much, much to the fact that, you know, I was in a pretty comfortable job, you know, getting paid well. I had to step out because I wanted to realize that dream. And that dream was to help others, to serve others, to, to, to bring all that experience and all that knowledge that I've learned through doing my masters, through working in, in senior executive roles, to help others to, to bloom and to blossom and to bring their, their dreams and their visions um, to, to, to success, to fruition. And, and so for the last two years, that's what I've been doing. And I've been having such immense success at it. I think one of the things that um, makes me feel more successful than anything else is helping someone else to realize their full potential. And when I see someone blossoming and beaming and becoming a different person because they are now moving towards their purpose and they're doing the stuff that they love. That is what makes me happy and that is what, for me, success is. I mean, success is different for everyone. You know, some people might see success in terms of wealth. Some people see success in terms of being able to serve God and, and do it it, the best of their knowledge. I remember growing up and um, coming home one day and, and, and from school and um, telling my mom that, um, I don't quite remember what, how the story went, but it, it, it had something to do with my teacher at school. And at this time I was in high school and I, I said to her, um, oh, my teacher said I should, reach, I should reach for the clouds. And you know, she got so upset. She's like, never reach for the clouds. You are limiting yourself by reaching for the clouds. Always aim for the stars. Because if you miss the stars, chances are you will fall on a cloud. If you aim for the cloud and you miss it, you're going to fall back down to the ground. So, and I took that in everything that I did. 
So, you know, even when I was studying at school, I always studied to, be, to get an A, because if I missed the A, it meant I got a B. I never studied just to pass, because if you studied just to pass and you missed the pass mark, then you're going to fail, right? So, in, in everything that I do, and I've said this before, that's the philosophy, and that's the whole philosophy of creating amazing. Always try to exceed expectations. Always try to aim much higher, to reach much farther, because um, once you do that, you will always get to somewhere better than where you are. We should never allow anyone to put a lid on, on our jars. I, I remember in, in corporate, uh, you know, I've always heard the whole notion of, oh, there's a glass ceiling. And a lot of time I speak to other black professionals, uh, you know, why, why is it that you, know, you have been in this company for 10 years and you're still in the same position? Um, whereas, you know, I have just come in six months and within six months I've been promoted. And you know, the, the excuse I'm always getting is, oh, there's a glass ceiling, there's a glass ceiling. Well, you know what? If there's a glass ceiling, I'm going up with a sledgehammer because I'm shattering that. You know? And that's the kind of attitude that you need to have about anything. There should be no boundaries set. You, the only boundaries that should prevent you, the only limits that will prevent you from achieving what you want is the limits that you set for yourself. And a lot of times it's, it's in your mind, it's perceived limits that prevents you from getting to where you want to go. You know, I tell people all the time, I'm like a bulldozer. Anything I go after, I'm going after it. And whoever and whatever is in my way, I'm moving you because that is where I'm going. You know, that is what I want to achieve. And in, in everything that I've done in life, that's what, that's what I aim for.